Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the prophet for all. How? How is he prophet for all? Yes, of course, he is the prophet for all. Let's begin with what the creator of this universe has said about him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما أرسلناك إلا رحمة للعالمين and we did not send you O Muhammad but as a mercy for all the worlds Surah Anbiya verse 107 here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly speaks that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was rahma for all the worlds for all human beings irrespective of Muslims and non-Muslims. At another place Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسِ إِنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ لَيْكُمْ جَمِيعًا أَلَّذِي لَهُ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Say, O Muhammad, O mankind, indeed, I am the messenger of Allah to you all, to whom belongs the domination of the heavens and the earth. Surah Araf, verse 158. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, وما أرسلناك إلا كافة للناس بشيرا ونذيرا ولكن أكثر الناس لا يعلمون And we did not send you, O Muhammad, but to the entire mankind as a bearer of good news and as a warner, but most of the people do not know. Surah Saba, verse 28 At one place Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says تبارك الذي نزل الفرقان على عبده ليكون للعالمين نذيرا Blessed is the one who has sent down the standard to his servant so that he may be a warner to the whole world. Surah Furqan, verse 1. The Prophet وسلم, also says about him, Every Prophet used to be sent to his nation only, but I have been sent to the entire mankind. Bukhari, Hadith number 154. All these verses of the glorious Quran and Hadith clearly say that the Prophet وسلم, was sent down not for only a particular group or for Muslims only. Rather, he was sent down for the entire mankind. Not a single group can claim that the Prophet وسلم, was particularly for this and that group. The reality is that the Prophet وسلم, was the mercy and rahmah for all and everyone. It is interesting to understand that the Quran has mentioned the sun as Sirajan Wahaja, a burning lamp, whereas the Prophet وسلم, was mentioned as Sirajan Munira, an illuminating lamp. It means the light of coolness. As the rays of sun reach everywhere and every house, is the same way the cool light of the Prophet وسلم, is to reach everyone and everywhere. The Prophet وسلم, was rahmah and mercy not only for human beings, instead he was mercy and rahmah for animals, insects and other creatures. This is the reason that the Prophet وسلم, has forcefully asked his companion that not to mistreat animals. He cursed those who mistreated animals and gave praise to those who showed kindness. A person during his travel saw a dog panting out of thirst he brought water from the well and quenched the thirst of that dog. On seeing this, the Prophet وسلم, gave that man the tiding of paradise and said, There is a reward of quenching the thirst of every living creature. Once the Prophet وسلم, entered the grove that belonged to a man from Ansar, when suddenly a camel came towards him weeping tenderly with tearing eyes. The Prophet ﷺ painted on its hump and the base of its head until it quieted down. Then the Prophet ﷺ said, Who is the owner of this camel? A young man from Ansar came and said, It is mine, O Messenger of Allah. The Prophet ﷺ said, Don't you fear Allah with regard to this beast which he has placed in your possession? It complained to me that you stir it and put it to toil. These examples make it obvious that the Prophet ﷺ and his mercy and rahmah were common for all human beings as well as for animals and creatures. 
May Allah Almighty give us tawfiq to follow the footprint of the Prophet in every walk of life.